Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial using Google App Inventor. My name is Chris Groff. I work in San Antonio, Texas at KSAT. It stands for Kruger School of Applied Technologies. What we're going to be doing is a lesson on PaintPot. Basically it's a simple paint program or application that we're going to be doing for the Android phone. And it's off of the App Inventor tutorials. So to get started, click on My Projects and we're going to start by creating a new project so click new our project name is going to be paint pot you want to make sure it's all one word don't use any spaces and then click OK and then once we have our our new stuff opened you're going to click on open the blocks editor uh, sometimes it takes a little while for it to come open so while the block editor is opening up and it's verifying the application, click run there. I'm going to start talking to you about the palette and the screen that you see. Um, under the palette here you have, and we're going to be using the emulator, so when the emulator pops up, since it's more universal, just click on use the emulator and I've got one up already running so I'm just going to minimize that okay so under the palette you have your basic these are your basic um, components that you can add in like your button your canvas which we'll be using today um, and then down below it there's different stuff like media so you have cameras uh, media players sound video players uh, you can do some animations like ball and image sprites there's some social components that you can use, Twitter, texting, phone calls. Uh, there's different sensors. If you're going to be putting it on a phone that has this, it has an accelerometer sensor, a location, and an orientation sensor. And there's different screen arrangements which we'll be using. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go under properties here and we're going to rename our screen. So in instead of screen one for the title, what we're going to do is we're going to name it Paint Pot. And when we type that in, you can see that it'll change from screen one. It'll say Paint Pot. So it'll say the name of the application. And what I like to do is click Save every once in a while just to save the work. That's always good practice. Mr. Gillette, I have a phone call for you in the office. Next thing what we're going to do is set up our components. So we're going to start by adding three buttons. And these are going to be our red, green, and blue buttons that we can select our color from. So select button one, and we're going to rename it button red. And you want to make sure that you do not add a space. That's going to be all one word. Just click OK. And then on our right, we're going to change the properties of button red. So we're going to change the background color to red. And then under text, we're going to name it red. So that'll change the text of the button to red and you can see it changing in your viewer. Next, select button 2. We're going to rename that button green. All one word, no spaces, and click OK. We're going to change the background color green, and we're going to change the text to that to green. And we're going to do the same thing for button 3. So select button 3, rename it, we're going to name this one button blue. No spaces. Click OK. Please call the office. We're going to change the background color to blue. And we're going to change the text for it so that it'll say blue. So we have our red, green, and our blue buttons. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a screen arrangement for these. So you're going to drag a horizontal screen arrangement and we're going to set the properties up on it. So for the width, we're going to save, uh, we're going to change it to fill parent and click OK. And that'll fill up the screen. And then the height you just leave on automatic. And then we can take our buttons and we're going to drag our buttons into the screen arrangement. And you can see that they all line up under there now. Next thing we're going to do is add a canvas. So on our 
palette, so we're going to go to basic, drag our canvas out on there. And for our canvas, what we're going to be doing is we're going to change the width so that it's on fill parent. And we're going to change the height so that it's at 300 pixels. And this is very important. The background image would be the image on the drawing canvas. Okay, So if you want to select an image, for the tutorial they have one, you just click and you go to add and then you choose the file. For the tutorial they have this kitty one and the kitty one is 294 by 270 pixels. What I did is I created a paint pot background PNG file that's roughly about the same size. So I'm going to use that one. It's basically just a white uh, background with a black border around it. Um, so you can see the one that I've created. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this canvas one and we're going to rename it. And we're going to name it Drawing Canvas. Click OK. And then the last thing we, we're going to do is we're going to add another button down at the bottom. And we're going to rename it Button Wipe. and we're going to rename the text on it white. And then when we click this button, what it's going to do is it's going to clear all the painting or drawing that we've done. Okay, so once you've done all that, uh, that is the end of adding all the components in. So go to save here. And then in part two, what we're going to be doing is going into the block editor and adding in the blocks.